వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ టాపిక్ మోండే కార్లో సిములేషన్ కాల్కులేషన్ ఆఫ్ పాయ్ అండ్ ఇంటగ్రేషన్ మోంటే కార్లో ఈస్ ఎ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ మొనాకో మొనాకో ఈస్ ఎ స్మాల్ కంట్రీ ఇన్ యూరోప్ దిస్ ఈస్ ది మోండే కార్లో సిటీ సో మోండే కార్లో సిములేషన్స్ ఆర్ నేమ్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ gambling hotspots in monaco since chance and random outcomes are central to the modeling technique in monte carlo simulations like they are in games like roulette this is the roulette and dice and slot machines so monte carlo method is an iterative computational method where repeated random sampling is used to calculate numerical solutions we will see how this iterative computational method is used in calculation of pi we consider a quarter of circle of radius unity a quarter of a circle of radius of unit radius of 1 also takes a square containing the quarter of the circle with unit length means this square with unit length so let the small m be the number of random numbers inside the quarter of the circle inside this quarter of the circle the red points the red values and capital n b the total number of random numbers generated means this red points plus these green points then area of the quarter of the circle divided by area of the square with unit sides will be equal to quarter of the circle is the pi r square by 4 that is pi into 1 square by 4 and area of square with unit side will be 1 square that is 1 so that is pi by 4 so this will be equal to this pi by 4 will be equal to the number of random numbers generated inside this area divided by whole area points inside the whole area that is m by n so that the pi will be equated as this 4 into m by n that is pi is equal to 4 into m by n this is the enlarged view of the figure so this is the quarter of the circle and the points inside the quarter of the circle is in red color and outside the circle are in green color so the small m will be the number of red po- color points red points and capital n will be the total number of points that is the red points plus the green points now this is the python code for calculation of pi initially we import the random module which contain this random function this random function generate a random number between 0 and 1 and we initialize m is equal to 0 for counting the number of points within or less than this quarter of the circle equation and we enter the x number of set of x y values to be generated or number of points to be generated and we take a for loop with which iterates n times it produce x random value and y random value and we check whether this point 
this x comma y point is within the boundary of the quarter of the circle if it is within the boundary of the quarter of the circle that is the x square plus y square less than or equal to 1 then the m is incremented m is set as m is set as m is equal to m plus 1 so when the loop exit the m will be the total number of points inside this quarter of the circle so that the pi will be calculated as 4 into m by n so this is the result for different entries for the first entry or first running of the program i entered capital n as 500 and the result is obtained as 3.136 then 5000 got 3.1072 then 50000 then 3.1424 then 5 lakh 1450096 then 50 lakh and like that so as the number of points increases the accuracy also increases now we will see what is Monte Carlo integration, how integration is done using Monte Carlo technique. Here we know that area under the curve gives integral. That is, if this is the f, y is equal to f of x, and this is the x, then if this is the curve representing the function, then integral f dx will be area under this curve now let the total number of scaled random numbers generated to be capital n the scaled random numbers means the random numbers between the x minimum means within the limits x equal to a and x equal to b and f minimum and f maximum and the number of points under the curve be again within this curve be again small m then area under the curve divided by area of this rectangle can be written like this this area under the curve is integral f dx and area under this rectangle will be this one will be x minimum that is a and this is the upper limit b so this will be this length will be b minus a so this b minus a into and this will be this point will be uh, f minimum and this will be the f maximum f maximum for value of the function so that this length will be f max minus f minimum so that area of this rectangle will be b minus a into f max minus f minimum which will be equal to small m by n like in previous case so that we have to calculate this integral of dx so that the integral f dx will be equal to this m by n into b minus a into f max minus f minimum. So this is the expression for integral of a function using Monte Carlo method. Now we will see how Python code is used for Monte Carlo integration. Initially, random function is imported from random module. This random function again generates the random number between 0 and 1. Then import the NumPy module since we use LinSpice and also sine function, cosine function, etc. will be there. So all are defined in this numpy module so the numpy module is imported then define the function which is to be integrated here i take uh, the sine x 
as the function then input the lower limit and upper limit then the total number of points to be generated then we create an array between the lower limit and upper limit means between a and between b with total number of n means total number of values between a and b is generated using this function then the corresponding functions in the corresponding f of x values here the corresponding sine of x values are generated using this line that is y is equal to f of x where f of x is defined as sine of x here so using this y is equal to f of x we find the f minimum and f maximum that is here it is y minimum that is y minimum is min of y and y maximum is max of y so for this for finding this y minimum and y maximum we then write this y is equal to f of x now we initialize m is equal to 0 for counting the number of points under the curve and then we calculate the area of the rectangle that is a minus b or b minus a into y max minus y minimum since these are the absolute values of this so the positive or negative of a minus b or b minus a is can be neglected so the area of the rectangle will be a positive value the absolute value of the difference between the lower limit and upper limit and y max and y minimum now we start a loop a for loop and we find the scaled x value and the scaled function value from using this line here a plus the x rand is a plus b minus a into random we know that the random generate a value between 0 and 1 so that a plus b minus a into a value less than 1 will generate a value greater than a greater than or equal to a and less than b and like that a random y value y rand is generated using this line and which will be greater than or equal to y minimum and less than or equal to y maximum now we check whether this point means x rand comma y rand is under the curve if the absolute value of the y rand is less than or equal to absolute value of the x rand these are the absolute values if this is less than the absolute value of f of x rand then also if f of x rand and y rand means both are positive then we increment the m value or count the point as under the curve and if this f of x rand and y rand are negative values means they are below the zero line or below the x axis then the corresponding points are decremented we know that when integrating the sine values there will be upper sine values means 0 and 1 within 0 and 1 and in the second half the values will be 0 and minus 1 so taking the total area we have to subtract this lower half and add this upper hand so that, that is why th this that subtraction is done using this statement now uh, when exiting this loop 
the m will be the total number of points under the curve so that the integral is printed as the integral equal to the area of the rectangle into m by a so this is uh, the example we are doing here integral 0 to pi sin of x dx so the function is given as sin of x so we are doing this integral so that we enter the lower limit as 0 and the upper limit as pi then we know we know that analytically the integral of sin x is minus cos x giving the limit 0 to pi we get minus of cos of pi is minus 1 then cos of 0 is 1 so that minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so this minus 2 into minus that is plus 2 so the result is plus 2 so in this program we give the lower limit as 0 and upper limit as pi then the total number of points to be generated is given as 50,000 then we got the integral as 2.00364496 means the exact result is 2 so which is uh, very near to the exact value so if we want to increase the accuracy of the result we have to increase the number of points the total number of points okay thank you for watching